Okay, so what we're going to do is if you have the default cube there, just hit X and delete or delete on your keyboard. And we're going to do a shift A, go to mesh and create a UV sphere. Then go into your tools menu with the T key. And what I'm going to use is I'm going to use eight segments and seven rings. So you, if you have the default, you have something like 32 and 16 or whatever. But we're going to use eight and seven. And while it's selected, go ahead and make it smooth shading. And then T out of that menu. And over here on the right, go into your modifiers. And we're going to add a subdivision surface modifier. And go ahead and make that, just bump it up to three so it's nice and smooth there. And I'm going to tab into edit mode. And you can see right now that um, it's positioned so the segments are straight on toward us. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a RX90 to rotate at 90 degrees and hit enter. And um, let's go ahead and <clears throat> in the side view, three, uh, number three on the keypad, B box select the front of the uh, sphere there and just drag it over. You can drag it over however much you want there. And go into seven top view. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select B select all these faces on the left side here and hit X and delete faces. And as you might guess I'm going to mirror this object. So I'm going to tab back into object mode. Add another modifier and add a mirror modifier. And this one is mirrored on the X and it is mirrored there. And I'm going to turn on clipping so that the vertices will stick together. And you can see already that there's this kind of weird deformation because we mirrored it. But don't worry too much about that because, I mean, it looks pretty stupid right now, but when we apply the mirror, that's going to go away. So let's go ahead and do that and I'll show you. See, nice and smooth. So I'm going to Control Z undo that so I can keep my mirror. Tab back into edit mode. And what I want to do is just select the very front here and use E to extrude and just extrude, actually just select, select that, don't extrude at all, just do an E and just select and then do an E again and just um, Extrude it in just a little bit. And you can see how it's uh, it's pretty nice and sharp there. I don't think we need to extrude again, but if you look at it and say if we like rendered it right now, you can kind of check it out. And you can't really tell very good from this render, probably because of the way I got the lighting. But it doesn't look like it's extruded uh, or very sharp along the top here. So you can actually just do an E extrude again. Extrude it in a little bit, or you can even extrude it out to give get that uh, kind of seam look. But I'm going to extrude it in a little bit, and so you can see you have some nice sharp seams. Again, it'll look better once we apply the mirror. So I'm going to use this as kind of like the uh, I don't know cockpit or viewport of the spaceship, and. Let's go ahead and do a control R and I'm going to roll the mouse wheel just once to get the two cuts there and, and select that so you have just so you have some extra geometry there to, to mess around with if you need to. And I'm going to go into three side view and I kind of uh, I'm pretty sure I'm done with the modifiers at this point so I'm going to do a control up arrow just so I can work full screen here. And uh, let's go back into the three side view and let's select vertices down here. And I'm just going to um, select, oops, 
Now B select the entire back of the spaceship. And I'm going to use S to scale. Yeah, actually that's not doing it. Not doing what I want it to do. I think maybe I'm selecting too much here. see what happens. This is a freestyle spaceship, so anything goes at this point. So let's see. Let's let's say that we wanted to put like a little viewport here. I'm going to select this face and do an E and just select that. Just size it down, scale it down with the S key. And it really depends on how big you want your viewport to be, but I'm just going to make it uh, probably about that size there. And I'm going to E, extrude again, just extrude in oop, just a little bit. Let's zoom in so we can see what we're doing. And E, extrude again, and you can see that it gives you, again, some nicely defined lines there. So if we look at that, that's kind of, kind of be, it'll kind of be what our viewport is. Now, if you want, if you don't want that round look to it, you can do a, you can do a control R and do an edge loop cut, and just kind of drag it over like that. Maybe about right there. Do a control R, another edge loop cut, and drag it over this way. And you can see that's giving you kind of a more of a, like a squared off type of viewport, which is nice. Now, one thing you'll also notice that it's done is it's giving a lot of definition to your geometry now throughout the, the ship. And you may want this smooth. So what you can do is do an Alt Select of that line again and use your C key, your C tool, and your middle mouse button to deselect that area. Do a Control E and do an edge slide. And you can move that geometry over so it's not forcing that shape along your ship. Because the closer this, this line is to your existing geometry, the more it causes that crease to become apparent. And you can do the same thing with this. Alt select that. Use your C key to use this tool and right click and erase, or not erase, but deselect those vertices. Control E, edge slide, and just move that geometry over a little bit. And you can tell there's still some crease there, but it's not quite as bad. Okay, also you'll notice that if you you did the vertical ones, you may also want to do the horizontal ones to get your, uh, your port window there kind of squared off. So if you do a Control R, Control R. You'll notice as soon as you put that in there, if you leave it right where it's at, it's already pretty squared up. So you can put that in there and get a pretty good result without really messing up your the rest of your geometry there. And another thing that you can do is kind of make your geometry work for you. So say that uh, if we look at it right now, we, we're seeing this kind of uh, squared off area because of that geometry we added. If you do a control R, I'm going to add another uh, edge loop here. Just go up in there. And go ahead and make that uh, creased right there. Okay, so what we're not going to do now is make a seam for this. And I'm just going to go into face mode and alt select the faces here and do an E extrude and just move it down a little bit E extrude again 
scale it down with the S key. And while you have that selected, we're going to assign a material to it. really didn't want to get into materials this early, but it's really easier once you have this selected. So I'm going to do a control arrow, go back to our panel here, go to materials. Let's go ahead and do a new material. And we'll name this the body of the ship. We'll just say um, ship or I'll call it main body and we'll leave it just this base color for right now and then with our area selected here let's go ahead and add another new material and this one is going to be called flat black and just change that to black and sign and I'm going to go back into control that arrow and as you can see we have a pretty nice seam there and I think what I'm going to do also I'm going to do a control R here make another edge loop cut and just cut off this section as well just make it like its own separate section face mode, alt select, do E to extrude, Just extrude it down a little bit, E to extrude, How does that look, looks kind of weird, Okay, go back here and just assign light material to that. Do a quick render, see what this is looking like. Okay. Control up arrow. Okay, so what else are we going to do here? We need really an area that the crew can get in and out of the craft. So that might be in the back, it might be uh, down here, depending on how big the ship is. With a viewport like this, it's probably not too big. Maybe a, like a two-man ship or something, I don't know. But really depends on where you want to put the hatch for the ship. But I think I'm going to try to put it in the back here. So I'm just going to select these faces real quick. I'm going to extrude, scale it down to where wherever you want the, the hatch to be. And I'm just extruding in. Just extrude again to get that nice sharp detail. And that'll be like, uh, that'll be our, the beginning of where we want to put the hatch. And I'm not quite sure how I want to do it yet. I want to square it off a little bit, but uh, we'll start with that just so we'll know where it's at.